Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about a card in Commander 2015 and in Commander 2015 in general, a lot of people ask me, is buying pre-cons of Commander product a good concept? Should I do it? I mean, if you enjoy Commander, there are cards that will spike in that format and likely they will be the cards that have the new mechanic. So whenever you see a new mechanic in a Commander deck, take a very close look at it because it could be one of those cards that spikes in price. Now, today we're going to take a look at Fiery Confluence, which is a rare, but again, in a Commander product, that doesn't really matter because you only get one of it. Even if it's just a uncommon, it's pretty much availability-wise the same as the rare. So this card has gone up from $1.69 just November 20th. It hit its all-time low. And now it is seven dollars so not too bad not too bad what does it do it's two double red sorcery you choose you can uh choose free you may choose the same mode more than once so it can deal one damage to each creature so you can deal three damage to each creature uh you can deal two damage to each opponent so you can deal six damage to each opponent and you can destroy target artifact or you can destroy free target artifacts or some combination of the bo combination of these. So again, you can choose three of them. You may choose the same mode more than once. So that's very important because sometimes you got to board wipe. Sometimes you got to deal six damage to each opponent. And sometimes you have to do everything in between. The artifact one is good too. At the end of the day, it is a unique m mechanic is it like a really strong card in Legacy? Probably not. Four is a lot. Four, unless you're playing JSD Mind Sculptor, it's a lot of mana and you want a ton of power at four. But for EDH, I mean, for EDH, it's just either board wiping or doing direct damage to the face or even destroying just multiple artifacts. And the combination, the flexibility. So when you look, this card was just so cheap for so long. Look at the graph. It kind of never went up until now. And I feel like all the other confluences are the same. I have to look into it, but my gut feeling tells me that the confluences are good pickups if you can trade for them. Not the red one. The red one has already spiked in price because they are unique abilities that are very fun in EDH. And the key here is the you can pick the same mode. So it gives you so many flexibility. It gives you so much flexibility. I think you can pick six different options, right? If my math is right, or permutations, combinations, all that fun stuff you learned in high school, uh, you can pick six different modes on this card. Maybe more, probably more, right? Because you can you can pick six different modes. No, more. Okay, someone leave me a comment below how many modes you can pick. I'm guessing it's nine. I'm going to say you can pick nine different modes. Anyway, leave me a comment below uh, what you guys think about the card and what other confluences are interesting to you. I like it. I mean, Commander 2015 was a set that took a beating. It was a set that was overprinted, reprinted into Oblivion. And to see a card come out and rise in price, that's fantastic. And definitely long-term wise, those pre-con decks will always have value. They will always have value. You do have to pick the right one, but at the same time, that would probably be obvious for you. Anyway, bye guys. Mm -hmm.